Lisa, thanks for sending some more questions. Um, so you sent me a couple here. Uh, 10 through 16, I think 10 we actually already did, uh, but 12, 14, and 16, those are exactly the same as the problems that we did last time. So you're going to go ahead and follow those steps, and you'll get solutions to these. 51 and 52 are a little bit different, so I'll do those with you here. Let's go ahead and start with 51. We're looking for the cosine of the tangent inverse of 2. I'm going to go ahead and state that in a different way that maybe makes some more sense. What we're actually looking for is the cosine of the angle whose tangent is 2. So when we talk about tangent inverse or cosine inverse or sine inverse, we're talking about an angle. So we're looking for the cosine of this angle. Let's go ahead and call that angle y, just like we did last time. Uh, we don't know what y is yet, but we know that its tangent is 2. I saw that you drew a right triangle um, underneath the question, so you're on the right track. In the right triangle, go ahead and make an angle. Let's go ahead and call it y, or you can call it whatever you want. But we know that its tangent is 2, which by Sokotoa, you know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if its tangent is 2, the ratio of its opposite to its adjacent sides is 2. So it will be 2 over 1 over here. We can complete this triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to add the squares of these sides right here and take a square root. So the square root of both of the legs squared, so 2 squared plus 1 squared, is equal to the length of the hypotenuse and that's equal to the square root of 5. So, now we can look at this question in a different light now that we've completed this triangle. We may not know what this angle is, but we know what the triangle representing it looks like. So we can get a cosine of this angle just based on this triangle using our Sokotoa formula. So, Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the cosine of the tangent inverse of 2, let's go ahead and carry it through down here, is actually equal to the cosine of y, because that's what we called this whole big mess in there. And the cosine of that angle is 1 adjacent over hypotenuse, rad 5. 1 over rad 5. If you want to rationalize that, we can multiply both top and bottom by the square root of 5 to get the square root of 5 over 5. And that'll be your final answer for this problem. Let's go ahead and move on to 52. Now ordinarily, I would draw a separate triangle for this. But it looks like they're actually looking for the sine of the angle whose cosine is rad 5 over 5. Well, we just found the triangle representing the angle whose cosine is rad 5 over 5. That was problem number 51. So what they want is sine y again. They want the sine of this angle. Again, we don't know what that angle is, but we can certainly find sines and cosines and tangents using this triangle. So the sine of y we're going to get using Sokotoa and it's opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case it would be 2 over rad 5. Or rationalizing that, we get 2 rad 5 over 5. Thanks again for your questions, Alyssa, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.